Hello and welcome to another Phase 5 phonics lesson. We're carrying on today with the I sound and we're going to be focusing on writing. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a review section like we normally do. I've got three sounds on the screen and I want you to see what words you can come up with that use these sounds. So I've got the A sound or E sound spelt with an E A. So there's two sounds that this grapheme can make. I've got the O sound that's made with an O E split digraph. And I've got today, I'd like you to think of words with the A sound spelt with just an A by itself. So not words with an A, but words with an A sound. So give yourself a couple of minutes, no more than five, to have a go at that, and then we'll go through some examples together. Here we are then, here's some examples that I came up with, and they're probably gonna be different from yours, but maybe you've got some of the same ones, and there's some interesting words here that would be fun to talk about. So up here, I've got great, steak, and then weak, peak, bean, leap, real, seal, and break. So most of those words have got the E sound, but break, great, and stake have got the A sound, all using that E A spelling. Next up down here, we've got the O E split digraph. I've got rote, poke, smoke, drove, and rope. And rote, I think, is quite an interesting word because it's got an R sound at the beginning, spelt with a W and an R together, making just one sound. And then I've got two interesting words here. I've got the word pole and move. And what's interesting about these words is they both use the OE split digraph, but they actually make a slightly different sound. Listen to the um, sound in pole. It's not quite an O sound. P -o -l, pole. And listen to the O sound in move. It's not an O sound either. M V move. Okay, so there's some examples of words with our O E split digraph, but with some different sounds um, that that split digraph is actually making. Okay, let's have a look at the last box then. So this is the A sound. We've got baby, crazy, apron, acorn, alien, aching, and agent. And again, we've got some unusual. Um, sounds and letters in these words. So we've got agent with a letter G making a soft sound, J. And we've also got aching where the CH is not actually making a CH sound, it's making a K sound. So just an unusual word that you don't need to know, um, but um, just an example of um, words that don't always follow the patterns that we've learned. Okay, let's move on now and let's look at this sound we've been looking at this week. So we've been looking at the I sound, haven't we? And we know that before we've seen the I sound with an IGH, but we've been looking at it spelt with an IE, an IE split digraph and an I by itself. Uh, so let's, let's just quickly go over what we do when we're writing to make sure that we spell words correctly or at least have the best go spelling words. So uh, let's say we want to spell the word fright. Um, when somebody gets a fright, it uh, means that they're frightened. So what we need to do is we need to say the word and then we need to slow it down so that we can hear each of the sounds. So listen to me do that. Fright. 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 I t fright. There we go. And don't forget that last step where we go back through and check. F r i t fright. Ah, fantastic. We've got all of the sounds that we need. No more and no less. So remember that when, especially when you're spelling words that um, you're a little bit unsure about. Um, but any word that you're spelling, um, this is a really great way to just make sure that you're spelling the word correctly, um, or at least including all of the right sounds so you've got your best chance of spelling it correctly. Okay, before you move on then to writing, we're going to do this just how we've done it in previous weeks. 
Um, I want you to have a little look at this list again. Um, maybe just pause the video, have a go at reading some of these words again to just get them fresh in your brain. And um, then we'll come back and get into writing. So pause there, just have a little read of those words and then come back for some writing in a bit. Fantastic, hopefully you've had a go at reading those words. Before we move on, one last thing, two of those red words that was just important to remember. We've got the word by and the word children. And by is in there because it's a really common word and the I is made with this Y on the end. And children is in there because it starts with um, the same as the word child, but that I, that letter I, is making an I sound in children. Right, let's get into some writing then. So pencils ready. The first few are going to have a clue up the top there. So your first word I would like to spell is the word time. So click pause, then click play when you want to check. Here we go then, here's the word time. T -I -M, T-I-M-E, and it uses that I-E split digraph. Next one then, this one's using the I E together. Now, don't be worried about how long this word is. It's got lots of letters, but you're um, more than capable of listening to each of those sounds and writing this word out. Be really confident because I know that you can get this one. The word is satisfied. Satisfied. So, have a go using the technique that we've practiced to spell the word satisfied. Click pause and then play when you want to check. There you go, there's the word satisfied. You can hear all of those sounds if you sound it out slowly. S -a -t -i -s -f -i -d. Satisfied, okay? Hopefully you got that one and spotted that that I sound comes at the end there between the F and the D, satisfied. Um, right, let's move on. Your next one is an I by itself and your word is the word behind. Okay, here we go then. Here's the word behind. There it is. But e i n d behind. And there's that I by itself making the I sound. Right, last one with help from me. Your word is the word tried. Tried. So click pause and then click play when you want to check it. Here we go then, here's the word tried, t -r -i -d, tried, and that's got that I-E in there making the I sound. Right, are you ready? No more hints, your next word is the word quite. Your word is the word quite. Okay, click pause, then click play when you want to check. Here it is, here's the word quite. Now, it can be a bit confusing sometimes when you look at this word, but actually, if you break it down into its sounds, um, it makes a lot of sense. We've got qu-i-t, quite, okay? And it's got that I-E split digraph you needed to use to make the I sound. Well done if you got that one. Right, ready for the next one? Your word is the word child, child. Right, have a go at that one, click pause, and then play when you're ready to go through it. There we go, there's the word child, ch -i -l -d, child, well done. Right, let's keep going, next one. This time your word is the word finding, finding, okay, have a think about that word. Have a go at writing it, click pause, and then click play when you're ready to go through it together. Here we are then, here's the word finding. Now notice that we've got an I at the start that's making the I sound, and we've got the letter I in this ing just making the I sound. So this was showing you two uh, different sounds that the letter I can make. All right, ready for your last one? This is the word wild, wild. Have a go at that one. Right, there you go, the word wild. And again, it's got that I 
by itself, making the I sound. Okay, we're going to finish there today. Well done on all of your phonics today. Um, well done on all that writing that you've been doing. Great job. Well done today on all of that hard work with your phonics. You're doing absolutely brilliantly. Right, we'll finish there for the day. Enjoy the rest of the day, whatever you're doing, and enjoy your bank holiday tomorrow. We hope you get a chance to rest and do some fun things. All right, see you next week.